Hello everyone. My name is Suman Mitra. I am a professor at the Dhirubhai Amman Institute of Information and Communication Technology, Gandhinagar. Today I am here to talk about what is data science. Now first of all, let us think about whether the data science is a new species in the literature or it is already there and it is coming out as a new avatar. So answer is the second one. Because you see, just after independence, the researchers as well as the administrators, they found the importance of analyzing the data and hence the planning commission has been established by the famous statistician Professor Prasanta Chanda Malanobis and it was readily welcomed by the then Prime Minister Jawaharlal Nehru. So the main motto of planning commission was to actually analyze the data in various sectors, be it in the agricultural sector or be it industrial sector or be it in any other sector. So they analyze the data and try to see where we are progressing and how we can progress towards the future. My basic background is statistics. I did my statistics from Presidency College and Calcutta University in Kolkata and then I did my PhD in the area of image processing pattern recognition from the Machine Intelligence Unit of Indian Statistical Institute. You see actually uh, my main emphasis right now is working on pattern recognition area which comes under the uh, machine learning. By machine learning, what we mean is that we want to make the machine, this machine quote unquote is computing device or in general sense, the computer. We want to make computer more intelligent by understanding the inherent property of the data. So one kind of recognition system that is built up in computer is known as the pattern recognition problem. It is based on the data. So if we have large number of data in characters, so we want to learn from that data and then we get into the recognition problem. So I mostly work in this area and the related areas like say image processing because in my uh, type of experiments, mostly the input data is image, be it a face image, character image, digit image or whatever it is. Now let me talk about what is data science. In India, in the 70s and 80s, in the last century, we see the introduction of computing devices, which is mainly known as computer, right? And people were very much enthusiastic and very much excited to use or make use of the computers in our daily life. And that has happened for the last century. What makes the data science much more popular in the current era? There are two main reasons behind it. The first reason is that the enhancement in the computing power of computing devices, mainly the computer, that we are now having the enormous computing facilities all around us. And second is that the evolution, the explosion, the huge generation of data, be it a numerical data, be it non-numerical data. The numerical data was already there, but the non-numerical kind of data, which in this century we call multimedia data, come into the picture. The multimedia data including the text, image, video, speech and related things. So now what is happening is that we, we are witnessing a huge explosion of data or information coming into our daily life as well as we have power to compute, power to process, power to store, power to analyze this information or this data. That's why every industry in agricultural industry, in communication industry, in information industry, in any other industry, people are trying to analyze the data in a more and more meaningful ways so that 
we can chalk out plan we can chalk out our decision for the futures and the enormous power of computing device is giving us freedom or the opportunities to analyze the big data for example say right now we are talking about terabytes of data so every day every day social media is producing few terabytes of data through twitter through whatsapp through instagram etc so who will process can we process yes the computing device is given us the opportunity to actually analyze this huge data and get a meaningful decision by meaningful decision we mean that whether we are constructing a opinion towards some issues or no we are not constructing or in which way we are constructing etc i will give you a very small example which uh, one of my colleagues in dict is working on and it's a very important work that i believe that the stock market and the social media what is the connection between them there are some issues going on in the social media people are twittering people are sending instagram message etc and that possibly is taking some influence or making some influence in the stock market data so stock market price up and down and the social media opinion is either positive or negative something like that so there is a connection between these two now in our uh, ir lab and nlp lab one of the work that is going on is the finding out the relation between social media opinion as well as the ups and downs of the stock market prediction so now this kind of work is being carried out in india as well as abroad including in our dict so that we can really think about the power of analyzing the data and making more meaningful decision so now i was talking about the multimedia data so multimedia data be it image text speech video producing enormous amount of data every day and all the major companies they would like to analyze this kind of a data for their business for the daily life of human being for the benefit of the mankind for the benefit of the society so that is all about the thrust area of data science why the data science is becoming more and more important in today's world with this aim in mind actually so we started the msc in data science in dict so what that program is actually taking forward the program is aiming towards enabling the skill set manpower which will work in the data analysis industry or data analytics industry where they will actually store collect store process analyze the data which possibly is a huge data which is brand name as big data nowadays that can be done so this data science as far as curriculum is concerned is actually mixture of few disciplines first discipline obviously from where i started is statistics and if there is a statistics mathematics cannot be far behind so one area is mathematics statistics another area is computing devices and the computing tools and another area of is data management so the three areas that computer science mathematics statistics and database management including computer science areas of algorithms is actually coming up together blended well to generate the or to establish or to build up the curriculum of the data science so at dict we are exactly doing that one what we are doing is that in first few courses that we call foundational course we give emphasis on basic statistics basic mathematics required for data science as well as the basic computer science which is database management system and algorithm and then in the second and third semester 
we build upon these fundamentals and give knowledge to the students about the advanced topics advanced topics such as artificial intelligence machine learning advanced data processing etc some of the meaningful statistical mechanism statistical methods also have been incorporated in the curriculum so that people will have more advanced knowledge of data analysis as well as as i said the software tools because computing power we are talking about why computing power because 20 years ago nobody thought about the gpu system right now we have gpu system even we have tpu system also by nvidia so this software skills how to use make use proper use of gpu tpu etc is also included in the curriculum of msc data science at dict and this program is well supported by our centralized mechanism of placement though we are yet to graduate first batch of data science but we are very hopeful that the way the knowledge enhancement is going on among the students we are hopeful that they will stand up very firmly with the expectation of the companies that will come from the july onwards to recruit those msc data science students